Hi, my name is Matt Flavel, a principal consultant with CA Technologies. In today's presentation, I'll demonstrate how to provide authentication feedback during the SiteMinder login process. In its default configuration, SiteMinder does not provide any login feedback. However, we can make a simple configuration change to enable login feedback. This change works out of the box, requiring no custom code. So, let's take a look at the process. Here is SiteMinder's default login FCC page. If we provide an invalid password for this page, it returns us directly back to the page. It doesn't provide us any authentication feedback. However, there is a very simple way to provide authentication feedback during the login process. If we go to the Forms folder on the web agent that contains the FCC files, we can see the login FCC file we just used. We also have a dynamic retry FCC. Now Dynamic Retry FCC is actually capable of giving us feedback during your login process. Let's move to our policy server and make the change. Click on Infrastructure. Click on Authentication. Then select Authentication Schemes. Now edit the authentication scheme we're using. As you can see, right now our authentication scheme is using the default login.fcc. All we have to do is replace login.fcc with dynamic retry.fcc. Finally, click submit to save the changes. The web agent is now using dynamic retry.fcc. If we provide invalid credentials on the page, the system provides feedback saying our login credentials are incorrect. This page is also easily customizable, so you can provide your own warning message on this page. Finally, if we log in with valid credentials, we are authenticated normally. And that is how SiteMinder can provide authentication feedback during login. Thank you for watching this presentation.